Hello beautiful people, welcome back to another video by Renata Pereira and uh, this time she went to Surabaya, yeah, Surabaya, Indonesia. So the title of this video is Surabaya, Indonesia, Friendly People and Delicious Java Food. Okay, it's 16 minute long video. So guys, you have to watch this video till the end and um, let's see the beauty of Surabaya and uh, before moving towards the video if you guys are new on my channel subscribe and press the bell icon to get quick notifications of new reaction videos so without wasting any more time let's get started no lovers? what is it mean? no lovers? no boyfriend girlfriend yeah so that's funny yes take away from me <laughs> Okay, this video was filmed before lockdown, before Corona. Hello from Surabaya, Indonesia. Hi. Surabaya is located in the island of Java and it's the second largest city in Indonesia. In the previous video, we showed you some of the main landmarks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you wanna bite her. We're now at the historical park in a free guided tour. And we have a few more interesting things planned for the day. Okay. The first, let's keep learning the history Not of the City kids. of Heroes. Uh, travel. Surabaya, it is top of more than 400 tunnels and connects almost 300 buildings across Surabaya. Okay. Let's continue to the second building. Foreigners in this bus. Monument. Sukarno, the first president of Indonesia. He got Indonesia independence in 17 August, 1945. The Dutch agreed to our there. independence in 27 of December, 1949. Okay, yeah. Indonesia so got independent. Independ uh, wow. Freedom from uh, Dutch. The Heroes Monument celebrates the lives of all those that died during the Surabaya War. 20,000 people. Heroes died Monument. Here. And it's meant to resemble a nail. Why? Because when you touch a nail, try to damage, it's going to. The history. If you step on the nail, they will fight back. That's the philosophy of Surabaya people. Very beautiful, this park. And there's even a museum here if you want to learn more about yeah. the history. Here's some weapons that they took over from the Allied troops. What is the Very most haunted building in Surabaya? This one, a prison. The worst prison during the Dutch era, the prison of Palisoso. This was the fourth prison because in that time prison. the prison oh, yeah. wasn't built for criminals why, but for if you want to be by the Dutch. A couple years police. ago there was a rumor they say and someone will right. buy the prison and turn into a hotel. Do you want to check in? Terima <laughs> 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 kasih. It's very nice because you go in an air-conditioned bus with a guide and the bus stops also in certain places so the guide tells you stories and then he gives you time to walk around on your own, discover the places on your own and take pictures. Love it! Surabaya was the largest out. city in the Dutch a East lot. Indies. This is how Indonesia was called at the time. And Surabaya was even larger than Jakarta, known as Batavia back then. Surabaya was the center of trading in Indonesia. That's why so much history here. The tour starts and finishes here at Hausa Sampurna, the old cigarette factory. As we're here, let's see the museum. You know, it's free. Okay, free. No ticket. It smells like clothes, right? Yeah. yeah. I never imagined myself visiting a cigarette factory. <laughs> but it is interesting to see how much it impacted people's lives here. I read about the story of the owner, poor immigrant, uh, his dad left China, looking for a new life here, had to abandon their daughter for adoption, eventually his dad got sick and died, okay, he was also adopted, so cared for, and started working for a tobacco company, saw potential and built his own. I get it, I get it. And he grew it worked because of the way they mixed uh, spices and tobacco. Mm -hmm. People have been smoking since the 7th century. That's a long time ago. Yeah. Yeah. This is how they got started, with one stall like this. This used to be the production floor. In the videos that I saw, there used to be a lot of people working here, still working like the old days. 
Oh, the spices they mixed, right? Hey. Maybe they still mix today. Special. Right next to the factory, spices. the house where the owners used to live. And they were so close, not only to supervise the production, but also so that the kids could learn the business. Art gallery. <laughs> Great job. Baby, baby. Did you realize that this is Indonesia? Yes. The Indonesia method. How oh, wow. cool. Bali. Siramaya. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so to get in, and it's very interesting to learn the success story of a very poor Chinese immigrant. And he came here and built an empire, you know, producing a very specific type of cigarette, unique to Indonesia, called Kretek. It's a mix of tobacco and clove. Oh my. A unique kind of cigarette. Found. Can you believe this car was never used in Indonesia? Only in Singapore. We don't explain here why, but I guess it could not be imported, you know? 1972 Rolls Royce, and the engine works. It just cannot leave the museum. Hello, Renata. Not very much crowded. Like Jakarta. This is inside the malls and the condominiums right here, like a plaza. Not only shops and condominiums, there are even four or five-star hotels here. Ooh, five-star hotel. Oh, wow. Look at that. Beautiful. With so much history, you're probably wondering, is there anything new in Surabaya? Are there modern buildings? And yes, there are. This is one of the most famous here. A mall. A gigantic mall. Which gigantic I lost quite a few mall. times here, huh? Follow me. You did too. <laughs> What's interesting here is that this mall keeps expanding. There are six malls here, six buildings, and they're called TP1, TP2, TP3, and so on. TP is the expanding. name of the mall, Now TP7 has already been announced. And because this mall was not planned and built at once, not every floor is interconnected, so you get totally lost. In some floors you can reach the second building or the fourth building and so on. You get totally lost. Look at the price. How many floors are there? This is a mini art bar. Let me know in the comment section. In this building. This Nazi Goreng. It's recording, but I won. It's a very traditional soup of Surabaya. Beef in herbs like soup served with salted egg. Strawberry tea. Wow. We're having Strawberry Japanese tea. specialties here. My dish is Nazi Goreng. It's well known in Java. Gordon's dish is the star here. It's called Rabo. It's a beefy soup, dark soup, and it's prepared especially for weddings or for ceremonies, traditional ceremonies. Our ceremony here, we're celebrating our stay in Java. Right, Gordon? Quite nice. Oh, terima kasih. Nasi goreng is in essence fried rice. Uh, you know, top. unique smile. This here is chicken satay or and whatever. shrimp crackers. Maybe I'm thinking too much. There's shrimp here too on the rice. Right. Look at that. Okay. I think that's traditional food. Black soup comes with steamed rice and the crackers. What is this? Spicy? Is it spicy? Really? Not at all? Yeah. It's more salty. It's not spicy. It's more salty. Mm -hmm. It's really good. I heard that this was spicy, so it's right here actually, the secret. This is what's spicy, right? Point it out, this. Nazi uh -huh. is fantastic. This rice is my favorite. Mm. So tasty. Nice house like area yeah, inside the restaurant. Okay. Mosque in the back. Terima kasih. Bye. Everything that we ate, guess how much was it? Fourteen seventy-five. No way. Fourteen ninety-eight. You're a computer genius. How do you calculate all that like that? Less than $15 in a sophisticated restaurant in the most expensive part of the mall. It's amazing. $50. Oh. 
there's one more place I want to show you today that also happens to be the most beautiful building in Surabaya. This hotel right here, Hotel Majapahit. And there's a lot of... Here, a very historically famous episode took place. The Dutch flag was flying right there. And then in the middle of the revolt, someone took the flag down and tore off the blue part of the Dutch flag. Can you take the blue away? Okay, someone not? tore off, orange. tore no. apart the Dutch flag. You take, you take the blue away, the Dutch flag. Red and white. Exactly. What's red and white? The flag of Indonesia. <laughs> it's Canada it's too. Hot to be Canada. Indonesia. Oh. <laughs> There's the flag now, only red and white. Yeah. Only oh, blue. White. No blue anymore. White is spirit and black. Uh, red is black. That is spirit in Indonesian people's flag. That is made by Indonesian flag. I knew it from another video. On which I haven't Look at the reacted yet. Today it is party day here in Surabaya. Here at the right time. Maybe they are learning. <laughs> so nice that they have the shark and the crocodile here too. Same about the city, right? Oh. I think that's the kid's favorite place where they are oh my God. seeing <laughs> crocodiles, that's cartoons. Me. Cheese tea? Cheese tea. Cheese tea. Uh, this? Taro. Taro. Wow. Taro? And, and this one? Yeah, so good. Mm. Oh, I guess I'll try this one here. <laughs> Thank you very much, Terima Kasi. Cheese tea. Cheese tea? Yeah. Cheese tea. What is this again? What is the flavor? That's perfect. That's perfect. That's perfect. Okay. <laughs> I still don't know what Wow, it is really good. It's really good. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> kind of reminds me even of an ice cream or a smoothie without the texture of a smoothie. So it is delicious. Vanilla. Sweet, sweet. Sweet? Ah, oh, okay. Thank you. Terima <laughs> kasi. <laughs> that was so kind of her. Mmm. <laughs> that is good. It's like dried fruit. Very good, very good. Very good. Dried fruit tasting like plum. Very good. Ah, oh, terimakasi, terimakasi. Wayu baroka. Ayu baroka. Let's me try to say the name. Thank you, terimakasi. Mm, it is really delicious. So crunchy, so fresh, like so chips. delicious. The yeah, perfect chips. snack. You'd love this, baby. This is delicious. You love it. It's chips. Yeah. Hello. Hello. I love the Indonesia. Thank you very much. Thank you. I am. I am. I once had a school project in the team of Brazil. Huh? We once made brigadeiros. Brigadeiros! Yeah, they're so tasty. Yeah, yeah. they're good. <laughs> what do you like about Surabaya? If I introduce you, that's okay. That's okay. Terima kasih. Turn trash into cash. What a good initiative. Love Turn the trash into cash. They're trying to promote here. They came to us to explain the project, and this is what they're trying to do Regular here. Regular tech life. It's a cow nose. Oh baby, yeah, it's for that dish. Peppers. Oh baby, yeah. You know what she's doing? She grates it up. Oh. That's 
So guys, the video is over and uh, it was very, very interesting video. I'm really impressed uh, by the people, uh, by the way she uh, cover everything in this video uh, about the food and um, everything we saw in this video. Very interesting, a fantastic video. So guys, I'm gonna wrap this video now. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like, subscribe and press the bell icon and suggest me more videos in the comment section and share, share your thoughts on this video in the comment section as well. So that's it for today. See you in the next video. Till then, goodbye. Have a great day.